Hey guys, it's KJ from the Scariest Movie Ever channel on YouTube. Isn't it interesting just how obviously demonic the Hollywood system has become as the years have gone on? There's no doubt that the culture coming out of Hollywood is garbage. Even those people who are less aware of these things among us can tell that there's just something wrong with modern entertainment. Lately, it seems that every other TV show coming out, every other movie, and even the most popular songs at the top of the charts are talking about the devil, or devil worship. There is an obvious agenda coming out of Hollywood. All you have to do is turn on a computer, turn on a TV, listen to a popular song, and it's right there in front of you. And as I've looked at this compilation myself, it's a real eye-opener. Because where there's smoke, there's fire. Why is it that so many celebrities are talking about deals with the devil, or relationships with the devil, or falling in love with the devil? I think many of us know the answer to this question. This is a very real phenomenon. And if it wasn't real, or really happening, this many people wouldn't be referencing this idea of deals with the devil, or selling your soul to the devil. Keep this in mind throughout the video as we cover many of these celebrities and the things they've said about their relationship with the devil. This is the answer to the question, why is Hollywood so filthy and disgusting and debaucherous? What's happening? What's running Hollywood? And I believe it's the same entity running Hollywood that essentially is behind the entire beast system of the world itself the ultimate enemy of mankind. So without further ado, let's get started. In one of his songs, rapper 50 Cent is quoted as saying, Sell his soul for cheap, let's make a deal, sell me your soul. Designer of the devil, I'm Satan's angel, across the street from Lucifer. In one of Aaron Lewis's songs, he sings, I sold my soul to the devil in L.A. He said, sign your name here on the dotted line, and all your songs they will play. Singer Aaron Tippin sang, Some sell their soul for the easy road. The devil's always buying. I can't count the ones I've known who fell right into line. British glamour girl, pinup model, and sometimes actress Abby Titmus has admitted in interviews that she sold her soul to the devil. West Coast hip-hop pioneer Alonzo Williams was quoted in an interview as saying that Dr. Dre told me he sold his soul to the devil for a million bucks. In one of his songs, hip-hop artist Aesop Rocky says, Demons posted all around me. I can't beat them all alone. On the road to riches. Diamond rings. Designer jeans. Now my soul is feeling empty. Tell the reaper come and get me. In the song titled, Satan is My Master, singer Ben Folds from the band Ben Folds 5 says, Satan is my master, he always has been. Singer and actress Bette Midler is quoted in an interview as saying, I sold my soul, I bought these devil chains. In an interview with singer Billy Ray Cyrus, he was speaking about his daughter Miley Cyrus when he said, My family is under attack by Satan. I'm scared for my daughters. Rapper Ab Soul is quoted as saying, I'm just a demon that means well, freelance for God, but I do the work for Satan. In the song called Reunion by the band Black Sabbath, they sing, I'm paying the price now for selling my soul. I sold my soul. Look into my eyes. You will see who I am. My name is Lucifer. Please take my hand. Legendary artist Bob Marley tried to warn us of this satanic industry in his song, Sinner Man, where he sings, Sinner Man, where are you going to run to? You run to the devil. The devil is waiting. You're saying prayers to the devils. So they build the world in great confusion, to force on us the devil's illusion. Everywhere this fire is burning, destroying and melting their gold and wasting their souls. Don't gain the world and lose your soul. Just don't lose your soul. Wisdom is better than silver and gold. 80s new wave band Bow Wow Wow actually had a song called The Prince of Darkness, 
and in the song they sing, So open the door and let Satan in, the Prince of Darkness. While promoting his movie Moneyball, actor Brad Pitt was quoted as saying, I could really try on something different for myself. That was Satanism. It's working out really well. I made a pact. That's why. Popular singer and former judge on the TV show The Voice, CeeLo Green, is quoted as saying, I called out to God, but the devil keeps answering. Deceased rapper Easy e formerly of N.W.A., once said, Get thee behind me, Satan, and push me along. I'm kin to the devil. The lead singer of the band Evanescence says, I've come to believe my soul's on the other side. Without a soul, save me from my dark. I sold my soul. Don't try to fix me. Lead singer from the band Florence and the Machine sings, And to take your soul, I am damned, so here's to drinks in the dark at the end of my road. And I'm ready to suffer, found the devil in me. Before his passing, Jerry Garcia was a lead singer of the band The Grateful Dead, and in one of their songs he sings, A friend of the devil is a friend of mine. The singer Jewel once said, So you bargain with the devil, there ain't nothing free. During an interview back in 2004, actor and comedian Jim Carrey once said, there ain't no Bibles in Hollywood. I'm pretty hip since I've been worshipping the Dark One. Singer and poet Jim Morrison once said, I met the spirit of music. It was an appearance of the devil. I saw Satan. In the mid-sixties, singer John Lennon told his friend Tony Sheridan, quote, I've sold my soul to the devil. On more than one occasion, singer Kanye West has flatly stated, I sold my soul to the devil. During a song she was performing at Whitney Houston's funeral, singer Alicia Keys actually said in the song, Thank you, Lucifer, for guiding me. In 1979, singer Chris Christofferson had a song called Shaking Hands with the Devil, and in the song he says, I'll do anything I can to win you from the world. It's something that my senses can't control. Shake hands with the devil. I want your soul. In her song, Judas, singer Lady Gaga says, Judas is the demon I cling to. I'm in love with Judas. I am beyond repentance. I want your soul. I swear to Lucifer, my Lucifer. In one of Little Wayne's songs, he raps, Sold my soul to the devil. She got the devil in her. I do whatever I want. Hell's angel. Dance with the devil, devil on my shoulder, love me like Satan. In one of his songs, rapper Ludacris says, Lucifer, O oh Lucifer, god of evil, you're the god of pain. The darkness is where you find your light. The lead singer of the band Tool flatly stated in an interview, I sold my soul to make a record. Rapper Tupac once said, I sold my soul, selling my soul for material wishes, fast cars and bitches. Am I cold, or is it just I sold my soul? Gamble for your soul with the devil. Is this my destiny? No one was there when I took the wrong path. Tell the Lord they got my mind, but he can have the rest of me. I wish I could turn back the time, resist the temptation. Famous football player Barry Sanders was actually quoted in an interview saying, You see, God gave us the talent, but the devil makes us famous. Elton John's longest-running collaborator, Bernie Taupin, once said in an interview that Elton John's home is laden with trinkets and books all relating to Satanism and witchcraft. Rapper Bishop Lamont says, I'm half crazy, but I know the devil is real. I should know. I signed a record deal. In his song, Homebound Train, singer John Bon Jovi sings, The devil took me by the hand, took me from my home. He made me a man. Singer Brian Williams from legendary band The Beach Boys was quoted in an interview as saying, We were doing witchcraft. We were trying to make witchcraft music. And in one of his songs, singer Bruce Springsteen says, Dancing in the dark, does fortune wait or just the black hand of fate? It'll take your God-filled soul, fill it with devils. In a song by the band Daughtry, which is called Renegade, Singer Chris Daughtry sings, Talking about a deal with the devil, I said about selling your soul. I'm staring out into the night, trying to hide the pain. 
I'm going to the place where love and feeling good don't ever cost a thing. I'm not running from, no, I think you got me all wrong. I don't regret this life I chose for me. Rapper Chris Palco, who goes by the name Cage, flatly stated in an interview, I sold my soul to the devil. Hank Williams III says, And I flirted with the devil and he dealt me a card. He told me that you will never win, so I sold my soul to the devil. I never thought it could be this bad, and I got the devil taking me away. In her song, Any Other Day, singer and actress Hilary Duff sings, And the devil comes to bring you a fate you could never imagine in your wildest dreams. In his song, I Used to Have Money One Time, singer Jimmy Buffett says, I made a deal with the devil for a whole lot of money. We also have legendary singer and guitarist Little Richard many years ago said, I was directed and commanded by another power, the power of darkness, that a lot of people don't believe exists, the power of the devil, Satan. In his song Magic Touch, singer Robin Thicke says, I took whatever the devil would offer me. In 2009, during an online podcast called Under Pressure, Selena Gomez signed her first record deal with Hollywood Records, and she stated flatly, it's like I'm selling my soul to Hollywood Records. In the song, How Bad Do You Want It, singer Tim McGraw sings, The devil took his soul. There's always a price you pay no matter what you do. If you're going to climb to the top of that mountain, it always comes down to how bad do you really want it. You've got to lay it all on the line. In an interview, Geezer Butler from the band Black Sabbath said, I'd sort of dabbled in black magic, not practicing it, but I was interested in it. All these horrible things kept happening to me. A lot of my aunts and uncles started dying, and I was seeing all these bloody things visiting me during the night. Legendary jazz percussionist Ginger Baker once said in an interview, It happens to us quite often. It feels as though I'm not playing my instrument. Something else is playing it. The same thing is playing all three of our instruments. That's what I mean when I say it's frightening sometimes. Maybe we'll all play the same phrase out of nowhere. It happens very often with us. Legendary film actress Greta Garbo once said in an interview, I didn't have anyone to whom I could talk freely, so I went to occultists, devil worshippers, mind readers, and those who occupied themselves with the summoning of spirits. Because I believed in life after death, I kept trying to talk to my father. During my dreams I heard their voices, these terrible, angry voices. James Dean was into Satanism, and he once publicly stated, I have a fairly adequate knowledge of Satanic forces. He also believed that another entity would inhabit him when he was acting. He described it as a, quote, sort of two people in the same skin, a telescoping back from the other. The person inside would seem to drift up to the surface of my skin. Pop star Janelle Monet once said in an interview, There are demons in my eyes. I had to get them out. It's like a spiritual outer body experience. I sometimes feel very possessed. In an interview, legendary musician Jimi Hendrix once said, I can explain everything better through music. You hypnotize people. And when you get people at their weakest point, you can preach into the subconscious what we want to say. That's why the name of Electric Church flashes in and out. People won't release any kind nowadays. The idea is to release it in proper form. Then they'll feel like going into another world, a more clear world. The music flows from the air. That's why I connect with the spirit, and when they come down off of this natural high, they can see clearer. They can feel things differently now. John Fruciante from the band Red Hot Chili Peppers said in an interview once, There were beings of higher intelligence controlling what I was doing, and I didn't know how to talk about it or explain it but it was very clear to me that the music was coming from somewhere other than myself. John Lennon is once quoted as saying, It's like being possessed, like a psychic or a medium. I felt like a hollow temple filled with many spirits, each one passing through me, each inhabiting me, for a little time and then leaving to be replaced by another one. In an interview, Johnny Depp once said, Sometimes I feel like I'm possessed with a multitude of demons. During an interview, Actor Keanu Reeves once said, I attempt to connect with my muse and go on demon rides. Actor Kevin Bacon is quoted as saying during an interview, Demons under the surface, and as an actor, you have to keep them bubbling up. 
Famous actress and model Marilyn Monroe was once quoted in an interview as saying, Jekyll and Hyde, there's more than two. I am so many people. They actually shock me sometimes. I wish it was just me. During an interview, Michael Jackson was once quoted as saying, I wake up from dreams and I go, wow, put this down on paper. The whole thing is strange. You hear the words, everything is right there in front of your face. I feel that somewhere, someplace, it's been done, and I'm just a courier bringing all of this into the world. When I hit the stage, it's all of a sudden a magic from somewhere that comes, and the spirit, it just hits you, and you just lose control of yourself. During an interview, Robin Williams was quoted as saying, A voice will tell me either to take a role or not, and if I want to travel, that same voice will let me know whether or not the journey will be a safe one. So there you have it. I wanted to give you multiple examples of this to really fill in the blanks. Because many of us have seen these celebrities talking about such things, we've seen the interviews, we've heard the songs, but when you're just hearing it from time to time or just seeing like one interview at a time, it doesn't really have the same impact until you can have some form of a compilation. Once you see how often people in Hollywood are talking about such things, there's no denying what it is that's actually running that industry. It is a sick system. This is the Hollywood beast system. It is a massive mind control manipulation tool against the people, against us. So I'll leave you with that for now. I really appreciate you checking out the video. Thank you very much. And until next time, take care of yourselves out there, and I'll talk to you a little later.